Sutton. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas, Miss Burnett. Uh, Miss Frost. Uh, Mr. Laurie and Mr. Darnay are visiting tonight. Won't you come and join us? Oh, that's very kind of you, but I'd uh, prefer not to come tonight. But it's Christmas Eve. No one should be alone on Christmas Eve. Well, the days and nights all look pretty much the same to me, Miss Burnett. I'm not surprised. Well, we're home, and it's time everybody else went home. If they have one. <laughs> but we'll only be a minute, Miss Cross. Well, you make sure it is only just a minute. And tell him to button up his coat, for goodness sake. Otherwise, he'll catch a cold and spread plague all over the neighborhood. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Miss Bruce. Merry Christmas yourself. <laughs> you know, I think she likes me. <laughs> Though she does not believe that I was in church tonight. She just didn't see you there. After all, you said you were in the back. No, Miss Manette, the church hasn't been built that goes that far back. <laughs> I was actually in a tavern drinking. It's not our business where you were, Mr. Carton. Besides, no one could ever judge you as harshly as you judge yourself. Well, I know myself. We can't always be at our best. And I'm at less than my best on a fairly regular basis. And there's something to be said for consistency. <laughs> Do you always see the best in people? Do you always see the worst? Not at this moment. And there's hope for you yet, Mr. Carton. I knew it. <laughs> Lucy, come into the house this instant. You have guests. Please, come inside. Oh, not, not tonight, Miss Manette. Not, not like this. I understand. So you'll come tomorrow instead. Mr. Darnay and Mr. Laurie are coming too. No, Miss Manette. Lucy, please. You'll join us for Christmas supper tomorrow. No arguments. We've got to fatten you up, Mr. Carton. You're not eating enough. Good night. And Merry Christmas. What was that? <laughs> and where did all those stars come from? <laughs> Carton, you are drunk, aren't you? I can't recall a night so clear. The heavens seem an inch away, not cold and empty like before. A night as sweet as this tonight, I can't recall, I can't recall the taste of wine. Have I been drinking down my tales, a crippled wretch content to go? If I had been that man right now, I can't recall, I can't recall. My sense of shame was failure born inside my heart, or did the many years of waste believe it there? Did I just feel it disappear? Because you care, the choice is mine. Tomorrow's at my feet. All yesterdays are his. I pray that I will not repeat. I can't recall a night so clear. The heavens seem an inch away, and not unfriendly after all. After all, if I 